So, we've looked into the law behind all of the vehicles that the coalition of ordered governments used throughout their history and conflicts. So this time, let's look at what vehicles the COG's rival military power had at their disposal. As always, I'm your host Abs, and here are the UIR vehicles in Gears of War lore. Let's firstly look into the ground vehicles that the Union of Independent Republics used throughout their conflicts with the COG in the Pendulum Wars. The UIR Armoured Personnel Carrier, or more commonly known as APC, the main armoured infantry transport vehicle for the UIR during the Pendulum Wars to transport their soldiers. It was their equivalent to the COG's Armadillo and APC. When spotted, the gears would often just call them trucks. They were seen in key battles, such as the Battle of Ragani in the 62nd year of the Pendulum Wars, in the nation of Kashkur, as well as the more well-known Battle of Ashfo Fields. The APC had an armoured hull and was seen to have smoke launchers, but the UIR APCs were often seen to be attached with a bubble turreted anti-personnel cannon. These vehicles had a half-track profile, so probably not as mobile as the COG armadillos used later on in the Locust War. A variant of the UIR APC however, was their own medical truck, a much more durable and armoured medical and evacuation vehicle compared to the COG standard ambulances. It has the same chassis as the APC, but has a large back door for taking out medical supplies and injured personnel. The crew would usually consist of combat medics, as well as the driver of course. The UIR's main battle tank was the Paria tank, the main workhorse of the UIR's army, heavily armoured, heavily reinforced, and also equipped with an active protection system that could fend off anti-tank munitions. The Paria tank dealt devastating damage, as it had a Paria cannon that could wipe out COG tanks and centaurs, providing heavy fire support for the Indies. But not only that, the tanks also had a very fast, high calibre minigun that created a huge amount of firepower against the COG. But these tanks had a flaw in their design that made them vulnerable at the rear. This was because they had vents stationed at the back of the tank, which could have grenades or molotovs tossed into them and destroy the tank from within, blowing the tank to smithereens. The UIR had an anti-air tank vehicle, and this was known as the ASP. Equipped with self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, missile launchers, and self-protective machine guns. The ASPs were of course heavily armed, and their main purpose was to take out COG attack helicopters or transport carriers. Light armoured vehicles, or LAVs, were one of the main infantry fighting vehicles that the UIR used against the COG. A very durable vehicle, used to dish out heavy damage upon the gears, having a large, armoured glass cockpit and a single machine gun turret, as well as having the same track profile as their APCs. The UIR had a rocket transport train, a large carrier train serving their secret cosmodrome in Vaskar, as the UIR planned to win the space race against the COG. This was used to transport UIR rockets across the cosmodrome, ready for assembly and then to the main rocket launch pad. Now with the ground vehicles out of the way, let's look at the air vehicles that the UIR's air force used. The transport helicopter, a very large aircraft with two rotor blades, similar to the COGS King Raven dual rotor variant seen at the end of Operation Hollow Storm in Gears 2. Due to its size, this UIR transport helicopter was able to hold a large number of soldiers and deploy them into assault campaigns or air insertion, being able to help evict Indies if a battle was lost, and this transport helicopter was much larger than the UIR's gunship, the Chimera. And this was an attack helicopter used by the UIR's air force to dish out heavy damage and provide close air support. Equipped with twin heavy caliber machine guns and two rocket pods, being able to do plenty of damage against the COG's ground vehicles, also equipped with a searchlight and the Chimera was heavily armoured and therefore was very durable especially against gunfire and small arms fire. Moving on to the UIRC vehicles, 
they had their own battleships to counter the COG's equivalents. Take us down! We're gonna need explosives! Explosives? Why? I never said it was in the water. Can we have your helicopter instead? No! Formidable ships, possessing three triple-barreled naval big guns, which could provide heavy artillery bombardment on coastal cities, towns and beaches able to contain several thousand sailors of the UIR's navy. When the COG stole and perfected the Hammer of Dawn satellite weapons, it was used against one of the UIR's battleships, showcasing its devastating power, and helped lead to the UIR surrendering and therefore losing the Pendulum Wars. A sea vehicle spearheaded by the Republic of Garaznia was the Garaznia attack submarine, vanguards for the UIR navy specialising in sinking enemy supply in combat ships, as well as hunting enemy submarines, in order to protect the UIR surface combatant ships. The Navy also had miniature suicide submarines. This was where religiously crazy Indies would carry out this suicide assignment against COG naval vessels. The crews of the submarines would often change their mind about carrying out their assignments, but unfortunately, their vessel's hatches were welded shut to prevent escape. One of the well-known ships of the UIR Navy was the Frigate, a warship being able to hold a few hundred UIR sailors and being capable of firing huge amounts of damage through ballistic cruise missiles on its intended targets through its vertical launching systems. Previously a civilian container ship to transport goods but was later militarised this was the UIR cargo ship. This was repurposed in order to transport troops and equipment. Now there were also some commercial and civilian vehicles manufactured and used by the UIR. Firstly, the Matador Sport, a luxury sports car brand that had global appeal within the UIR sphere of influence. The expensive car as advertised was powered with an octane emulsion engine indicating high performance and fuel efficiency. A small sea vessel in the form of a fishing boat, sometimes accompanied by rowboats when fishing off the coast, essential for naval commerce and trade, and the COG also used fishing boats as well. Now the nation of Vasca was synonymous with tourism, and one of the major tourist transportation vessels for the people of Vasca was the Vascari cruise ship known to have crossed over the polar regions of Sera, and then they also had the Vascari passenger planes, used for international travel. And then finally, we have the Vascari passenger train, transporting passengers in and out from Vascar's many airports, and also used as scenic rides. So that, my friends, are the UIR vehicles in Gears of War lore. Drop a like and subscribe for more lore videos on the channel, I'm your host Abs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.